Hello everybody, XJO81X, and on the tubes today I'm going to be showing you Starbucks versus Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Don Donuts versus Starbucks. Now, right here in front of me are two cups. The left is a medium, and the right is a grande. Um, technically, they're both categorized, if I'm not mistaken, as mediums. Dunkin' Donuts does small, medium, large. There might be an extra large, but definitely a small, medium, and large. This is a medium at 24 ounces. And Starbucks does tall, grande, venti, and then something else. So let's say tall is small, grande is medium, and venti is large. Um, but the funny part is, is the Venti Starbucks is the size of this. So, basically what I want to show you is that these were two iced coffees purchased around the same time. And the numbers speak for themselves. <clears throat> All you got to do is just pause or just listen to me. 24 ounces at 519 that is basically plus tax, and then 16 ounces. So one full dollar more for a Starbucks brand, but less. So 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Eight fluid ounces less for a dollar more. And if you actually order incorrectly, they're going to fill it with ice, and you're going to get half of these if you're lucky. Um, there was a hack that I never tried, um, I never tried. It was a Starbucks hat. It was a hack. It was basically say, hey, can I get a uh, venti, or I'm sorry, can I get a grande iced coffee, and can I get no ice, and then you could actually get, allegedly, this cup. You could actually get a second cup filled with ice. This will be 16 ounces of fluid, and you could pour this cup, or whatever cup, into another cup of ice i've never tried it um technically water is free so they shouldn't charge you for ice they might charge you for the cup i don't know supposedly they're not su supposed to i've never tried it with duncan um we'll see um so like it really is basically self-explanatory there's no reason to talk about this for 20 minutes this is just you know um starbucks was created in seattle Washington, and I think uh, Dunkin' Donuts was created in Boston, Massachusetts. And I think the story behind this, real quick, is that it was one of those up-and-coming coffee shops that were trying to sell coffee, and then they wanted you to sit down, and then some guy came in and tried to reinvent the wheel, and they said no, and then he opened up... Oh, why'd I do that? Oh... And I just dropped something. And he opened up his own coffee shop. And at the end of the day, um, it became Starbucks. And you could Google it all. It's just, it's there. So, um, Dunkin' Donuts does the, um, it's time to make the donuts commercials. Yeah, Starbucks never really made a commercial at all. That was the, that's the funny part, is that. They never had to make a commercial for you to buy it. So, I mean, that's it. I just wanted to show you that this is the difference. This is what you're getting. I mean, they both have different flavors. A lot of people will say different things about how I think Duncan does three different kinds of beans. I, I, I don't want to say things I don't know. So, anyway, I just wanted to basically show you exactly what you see right now. Two different prices at two different ounces and Starbucks is more money. Thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, and please comment and let me know what you think about this ridiculousness. Take it easy.